Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the stimulus check. Some of you have already probably gotten it direct deposited into your account. Some of you are probably still waiting, but uh, we're going to talk about the purpose of the stimulus check, some things to keep an eye out for, as well as some different options on what you can do with your stimulus check that's going to be coming in. So guys, let's dive right on into it. So first things first, guys, why? Why are they giving away more money? <laughs> you know, what's the purpose of another stimulus check after they've just given, um, you know, two within the past year? Well, they're giving out more money to stimulate the economy. They're hoping that people get money and they go out and they, you know, spend more money at Walmart and Target and, you know, all these other places and just kind of help. Uh, circulate money and stimulate the economy is basically what's the purpose of this, right? So uh, a little crazy because, you know, not everyone necessarily needed the stimulus check. I thought it was kind of weird how they just decided, well, if you make X amount of dollars, uh, under X amount of dollars and, you know, you're single, you get $1,400. Here's $1,400. And I'm like, wow, okay, great. <laughs> you know, I'll take the money. I don't need it, but I'll take it. But uh, it, would, it would kind of been cool if they would have figured out, if they could have figured out, I guess, who was really in need of that money and who wasn't in need of that money. Um, because with all that money printing that's going to be going on and is going on, uh, basically what's going to happen is it's going to devalue the U.S. dollar. And, you know, over the past year, uh, the U.S. dollar has been uh, struggling and and sort of going on a, on a decline, and this is not going to help. The more money that is printed, uh, the less value for that U.S. dollar will be. Uh, also, this is going to cause our uh, national debt to rise with all the money printing. And another thing you're going to see, you'll see a lot of different um, companies advertise, you know, big sales probably coming up, and, you know, those, those big uh, TVs or purses or, handbags or whatever it is, those big expensive things that you couldn't afford that were probably close to around, you know, a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars, they're all of a sudden all gonna go on sale. <laughs> okay. So I think it's important to determine what's important to you with this with this money, right? So uh, obviously you can do whatever you want with your money. I'm not telling you what to do with it. Um but my personally myself, I'm gonna try to be smart with this and you know, I may may get me something that I want to uh, have fun with. I may go buy, you know, make a small purchase and kind of treat myself. But for the most part, I'm going to be doing something productive with this money. So what should you do? Well, what, what you should do is separate your wants from your needs. So determine, you know, with this extra money that I have, and you may have gotten more money than that. If you have a family and some kids, you probably got a buttload of money that comes in. And that's cool because you can, you know, you have a lot, of, a lot more options than a single person with, 1400. So you need to sit down and separate what are your wants, what are your needs, and even some of your wants. You know, maybe you want some new clothes, but you may not want to go and get the, you know, top of the line brand, um, you know, clothes if you can get something a little bit cheaper. Just be smart. Try to make the money go a long way um, because I honestly, I don't see us getting another stimulus check past this point, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, so be smart with your money, separate your wants from your needs. Um, whatever you're going to do, distribute those funds into several areas if you need. If you need to put money in the savings, if you need to put money on a debt, um, if you want to, you know, put some money away, maybe like in an envelope for an emergency or something like that, then just kind of calculate how much money you have and figure out how many um, categories that you want to put money into. Maybe you do them equally. Maybe you put a little bit more in some areas than the other, but you have a lot of options of what you can do with that amount of money. I mean, you might want to save all of it, maybe put all of it in an emergency fund. Maybe you've been thinking about so, uh, starting an emergency fund for a rainy day. And here's a good chance to do that if you're financially stable and you don't need it for anything, then just put it away because you never know when you might need that. And another thing you can do is also invest your money, okay, and try to grow it and actually make more money with it. Guys, here's a couple of examples of what you could do as far as distributing into other areas. So example one, let's say I put $400 in savings and I take $1,000 and I put it into the stock market. 
And that is actually my example of what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that 400, put it in one of my savings accounts, and uh, the other thousand I'm going to take, and I'm going to try to grow it, double, triple, quadruple it, and you know make my own stimulus check out of it. So, example two, you can put a thousand in an emergency fund, take four hundred dollars, and you can put it on a debt. Maybe you're trying to pay down some debt, and you have you know a couple thousand dollars on a credit card. That four hundred dollars won't pay the whole thing off, but it's going to make a big dent on that payment and kind of get you excited about paying it off. So an example three, uh, you can put $700 in savings, 300 on a debt payment, 200 to something that you need, maybe like groceries or clothes and things like that. And then maybe if you haven't started investing yet and you've been wanting to start investing, maybe take a couple of hundred dollars to start your investment account. And if you are going to start investing and you are very, very new then I would recommend Webull. The link in the description is uh, below. And you can actually get free stocks by signing up and depositing $100. So if you take just $100 and deposit it and start your account, you'll get two free stocks. You can cash them out after about a week and you're already profitable right off the bat. Okay. But uh, they have a good, easy to use platform for beginners. I also recommend TD Ameritrade. And um, that's that's what I use primarily. Robinhood's another, uh, another one good I guess for beginners but um, the only thing I use that for is to trade options and that's literally it I don't have hardly any money put into that app uh, but I, I do have a link in the description below if you want to check that out as well so I would check those links out and look at getting started with either uh, Webull I would say Webull or TD Ameritrade and then Robinhood definitely absolutely would be my third option that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, hit that notification bell, and comment below on what you will be spending. Let's check on whether it be saving, blowing it all on new shoes, or investing and signing up with Weeble below. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.